1170 KCBQ, Mark Larson here on KCBQ and KCBQ.com, direct from the Capitol Cloakroom in Washington, D.C. I, I assume they've fumigated. Congressman Brian Bilbray joins us, uh, fresh out of a, a hearing but between votes. Uh, good morning, Brian. Good to talk to you. Good to talk to you. Uh, you're at that oversight hearing this morning. This is all about the national security issue, of course, but border security, looking at the Mexican drug cartels. That's, again, one of the stories that people haven't even thought about during the obsession with Michael Jackson and <laughs> the other news. Uh, give us an idea of what's going on so far, and uh, do we have reason to be encouraged or concerned or both? Well, one of the things we have encouraged about is that we've got a, a, a known person of uh, experience and somebody who can be tough on um, issues is Alan Burson was appointed by the president. So I think one of the stars in this whole thing is Burson's back on the job. Um, he's not being harassed by the teachers union now, but he's taken on the drug cartels, and that's a real plus. Is um, he going to be but, tough enough on that? Because, you know, there are some people who aren't really big Burson fans. I mean, he's a nice guy and everything, but he has done a lot of different jobs along the way, and there's some question as to whether he will be tough enough or be a little too cozy with uh, Janet Napolitano with Homeland Security. And she wasn't exactly terrific on border security when she was governor of Arizona. No, and I think that um, one of the things that we've got to recognize is that Burson, I think, at least knows the issue um, and has been on the line, and he was pretty good, pretty good when he was he was there before. Uh, mostly the fact of does this administration rein him in, because we've got to win this battle with Calderon while we can. There's a real movement in Mexico with pre winning in the election last week. The PRI. That, um, yeah. They should, yeah, PRI, that they should um, negotiate, quote unquote, with the cartel, which means capitulate. And uh, that happens. We're we're looking at a border that's going to have to be shut down across the board if they they allow the cartels to um, take over. What does side. that mean, Brian? With this, so talking to Congressman Brian Bilbray here from Washington in the middle of a meeting on this whole border security and, and cartel issue. Um, when the the pre the PRI got influence in the election here a week ago or so in in Mexico, there was a lot of talk that this was their best showing as a party for many many years. So does that mean go back to these good old days of the seventies when they think things worked better? Is this a nostalgia time, and and is it really reason to be extra concerned then? Well, it is to be extra concerned, but the the positive on this, as I'm as I'm uh, upset about the changes, is the fact that it seems to be pre-drew from the leftist parties, the communists and the socialists, um, because pre basically falls into that socialist model, and rather than drawing from the more centrist and um, center right uh, people, so um, this thing is scary. But the biggest thing is that all of us need to support Calderon when it comes to taking on the cartel. We can disagree with him on immigration and other issues, but he realizes now's the time to fight the cartels. That um, the real war has not been going on around the world; it's been in our own backyard, and most people haven't been talking about it. But we've got to draw this out. I mean, I, you know, when we have our hospitals have people show up with severed fingers from kidnapped family members, oh, asking yeah. how can we preserve this when we. When when we find tarps full of uh, people's severed heads, how long does the, do we look the other way and not talk about the fact that we got to win this war in Tijuana before it gets to San Diego? It's already overflowing in the Chula Vista, and we don't want it to go any farther. Now, see, I'm talking to Congressman Brian Bilbury on KCBQ. With what you just said, a lot of people are surprised by that, maybe even some law enforcement officials, although I'm assuming everybody's getting the good briefings here. When you have Janet Napolitano come out, as she did a few weeks ago, and say, well, we're, we have a handle on this, and if some of this violence spills over from Mexico... Then, then we'll do something. As you know, if and when that happens, there's indication that it's it's already spilling. That the uh, the breach certainly is there in a lot of different places. Once in a while, we're still finding a tunnel like we did the other day. So there's evidence that there's plenty of spillover already. So you don't have to wait for something horrible to happen beyond what's yeah, going and, on. And in fact, it's absurd anybody thinking that it can all happen on the other side of that boundary and not spill over eventually. That is absolutely absurd. I mean, this is as ridiculous as thinking that a brush fire is going to stop at the at the city boundary just because it happens to be in the county that right. it won't get into the city. And this works the same way. And these guys, these illusions that this this boundary is somehow um, able to stop every all bad things from coming in. We've already proven if there's bad things on the south side of the border, it's just a matter of time before it gets on this side. Are you finding that there's bipartisan agreement with the local delegation? I and mean, if you look at uh, Brian Bilbray, of course, uh, you have uh, Duncan Hunter, you have uh, Daryl Issa, and then you've got Filner and Susan Davis. Are they on board? I mean, it's, it's a whole lot closer in many respects to their neighborhoods. 
Um, are, are, are they seeing the same thing you're seeing, or they think we're being a little too crazy about border security? No, I think that they're recognizing it. I just put together a briefing for all of the members of Congress, and you saw the delegation meeting with the feds, the state, the local the sheriff put on a great presentation at his headquarters and um, and actually briefed all of us. And it was sad that the media was outside wanting to talk about a fundraiser rather than talking about the battle that's going on to secure our borders from the from the smuggling cartels and so um that's just one of those things that we did last week that you didn't read about but we got um we're working on this together congressman brian bilbray are you now uh, huffing and puffing back to the vote here are you uh, a sense movement i'm right. actually uh, uh casting the vote right away all right good luck and uh, be careful out there thank you there he okay. goes brian bilbray uh, from the cloakroom and then on his way back into vote he's in that oversight committee hearing in Washington, D.C., on the Capitol, at the Capitol Hill, on uh, Mexican drug cartels and national security. He got some coverage on CNN last night as well about some of his comments because uh, he got into We didn't have a time because he had to go vote, but on how the stimulus is being used and how well it's working or not.